I went over the structural column schedule. Um, I actually wanted to go over again the graphical column schedule. So going up to schedules, click graphical column schedule. And again, the first step is clicking fine. You know, we can control the text sizes. One thing I also wanted to note is you can control visibility graphics in here. So we talked about doing filters. And so what we could do is we could add a filter for our different column types. Um, so we could add concrete. I don't think we have a concrete one, but let's duplicate this and call this concrete. And by doing that, we can actually um, actually differentiate the color in our thing here. I'm just going to remove this one. So this one, maybe we go to um, we'll do like a medium gray and we actually do a concrete hatch instead of solid fill. Now, again, I hate the concrete hatch, but I think this is a good purpose for it. And then here we'll do small solid fill 220 gray. And I think I did cut. I might actually need to do projection. Let me just try this. Yeah. Okay. So we do need to do projection. So let's go back to visibility graphics add them into our projection surface pattern. We'll do concrete here. Do salt fill 220. And then uh, we'll do the same with our steel. Steel is, uh, we'll just do a foreground pattern for steel. Steel is like some sort of like burnt red. So let's maybe find a good burnt red. And we'll do a solid fill for that and click OK. And these might actually be section. Let's try that. Filter. Let's see, solid fill. Uh, I need to find that color again. So let's uh, 224, 167, 167. 224, 167, 167. And let's click OK and see if that changes. Oh, it doesn't want to change. Uh, so let's see if we can select all visible ones. Let's go to override by element. Let's just do a solid fill of something gray. Let's see if that takes. Okay, so that is working. Um, it might be just it can't, it won't let me do it through that. Um, so let's do 224, 167, 167. Do that burnt red in here. Hate to do stuff without filters, but I think this should be fine. And so now we kind of take our graphical schedule from being a super basic schedule to something that you, you can actually tell what it is. And I think the other reason why some of these columns look weird is because they're joined with the foundation. So I think we would just want to unjoin them for the purpose of this schedule. Um, and then um, you maybe just change the line, line work in the drawings. So that's how you do a graphical column schedule.